Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to tell you a love story. It began here in Columbia seven years ago, and because this is a story of two people meeting in college, of course it involves a case of stolen beer. <laughs> they met a week after they almost encountered one another at a party, a party at which Haley was robbed. <laughs> The suspect looked somewhat like Shane, so when she ran into Shane himself, the next weekend at the poorhouse downtown, she accused him of stealing her beer. <laughs> Shane responded, I certainly didn't steal from you, but if you need a beer, I'd be happy to buy your next one. Which, I have to say, I've known Shane for a long time. He's always been a smooth talker, quick on his feet, but damn, that was a smooth line. <laughs> That interaction led to them sharing a drink, exchanging numbers, learning that they shared a birthday, and several months later, they were boyfriend and girlfriend. growing up how lucky we were to have a best friend like we did. We had many, many long talks sitting in Haley's car, chatting about life and our futures, and Haley was always who I knew I could tell anything to. So these chats we would have, they did um, talk about the occasional crushes. <laughs> um, and instead of being normal about it, we would give these crushes ridiculous nicknames. So I was thinking back when I started hearing about this guy from USC, and I was trying to remember your nickname. <laughs> um, but I realized that we actually didn't end up giving you a nickname, and the nicknames, they kind of ended with you. But they did that because of the way Haley would talk about you. She knew you weren't just a crush, and she didn't want to turn you into a joke just to get over the painfully awkward situation of having a crush. <laughs> Um, she knew she saw something real she wanted to hold on to, and um, she knew that from the very beginning. hiding this from me. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome everyone to the historic Lace House on this beautiful day that turned out to not be that chilly. So we're all very <laughs> thankful for that. We're all gathered here to celebrate the union of two of my best friends, Shane and Haley, in the city where they found each other. It's not two broken halves becoming one. It's the light from a distant lighthouse bringing you both safely home because home is wherever you are both together. 
So this is everything I have to tell you about love and marriage. Nothing. Like a book without pages or a forest without trees. Because there are things you cannot know before you experience them. Because no study can prepare you for the joys or the trials. Because nobody else's love, nobody else's marriage is like yours. And it's a road you can only learn by walking it. A dance you cannot be taught. A song that did not exist before you began together to sing. And because in the darkness you will reach out a hand, not knowing for certain if someone else is even there, and your hands will meet, and neither of you will ever need to be alone again. And that's all I know about love. Love is watchful, sleeping it does not slumber, wearied it is not tired, pressed it is not strained, alarmed it is not confused, but like a living flame, a burning torch, it forces its way upward and passes unharmed through every obstacle. If everyone would please stand. Shane, I love you with my whole heart, and you becoming my husband is the happiest day of my life. From the moment we were both born on that same day 28 years ago, neither of us has walked a single day on this earth without the other one in it. Once our paths led us to each other, we have been together every day since, and will be now forever and always till death do us part. Shane. I vow to always love the laugh that lights up your whole face that I can't help but laugh with. I vow to stand by your side through life's highs and lows and to always be your biggest cheerleader to help you achieve your dreams however I can. I vow to always be loyal, always earn your trust, and always cherish you. I promise to never stop writing you love letters and slipping notes in your lunchbox. Shane Hardy, in front of all of our loved ones, I choose you to be my best friend, confidant, and husband from this day forward, and for me to be your wife. Haley, sometimes it feels like we just met, and other times it feels like we've known each other our entire lives. We've gone from the girl that I thought was joking about having the same birthday as me, <laughs> to the woman that I'm going to spend every birthday with. I vow to always support you in the person you are, as well as the person you want to become, just as you have always supported me. I vow to keep building pillow forts on the weekends when we don't feel like doing anything, and to keep buying you plants even though you forget to water them. But most of all, I vow to be by your side through the good times and the bad, and to love you for the rest of our lives. I don't know what the rest of our lives will hold, but I know I'm gonna spend it with you. I love you, Haley Hawk. Shane, by presenting Haley with this ring, do you swear to cherish, love, and support her till death do you part? I do. And Haley, by presenting Shane with this ring, do you swear to cherish, love, and support him till death do you part? Now, by the power vested in me by the state of South Carolina, I pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. Now it is my distinct honor to present to you for the first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Shane and Haley Hardy.
was so beautifully moved by the ceremony, you two, as I am by your love. As a mother, I am just amazed at my happiness. I'm like giddy and overjoyed and jumping up and down because I guess that's what love is, is if your children are happy, that's the happiest you could be. Well, Haley, I'm so proud of you. I love you so much. Like a castaway. You're the most beautiful, intelligent, and joyful lady I've ever known. And you just blossomed into an amazing person. I'm so proud of you. You've always had an adventurous spirit. After all, you came into this world at 10 pounds, 4 ounces. <laughs> and with this, this great head of auburn hair and... And those of you know, who really know me know just how important hair is to me. <laughs> and following her, following her delivery, the first time I held you in, in my arms, I thought of this day. <laughs> and, I, and I thought, I just need you for a while, you know? But it's also great, you know, when it passed your hand off to Shane today, that was pretty awesome. Because I know you're gonna be well taken care of and loved. I remember this one day that Shane and I, we were feeding fish off at the end of the dock like we generally do, and Shane saw this beautiful fish, like, just, I'd never seen anything like it. And he goes and he grabs a net. Not a rod and a hook like I would have done, but a net. And he lands the most beautiful fish, and at nine years old, I wish I could see the foreshadowing that he would land the most beautiful girl out there. And I just love you guys so much, and I can't wait for you to be my sister. I'm so excited for you both that part of traveling through life has led you to your person who loves you so much, who respects you so much, who's right by your side for all of life adventures and helps make you the best you. It's all I could ask for for my best friend. Shane, thank you for showing Haley so much love and support and compassion and clearly making her the happiest. So if you guys want to raise your glasses, let's cheers to the one that finally didn't receive a ridiculous nickname. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.